So there's a statement that I once heard that is, is, is stayed with me for a very long time. And that is, if you know better, you can do better. And that is so general, but so applicable to many aspects of life because you can only do good with the things that you know are bad for you or vice versa. And there's been many uh, aspects that have come into my, to my mind and my life over my career that have established who I am. But one of the most simple things that really awakened me to what was happening in our food system and in our government was an amazing documentary done in 2014 called Fed Up. Fed Up sequences a, a tremendous timeline of understanding chronic disease, the root cause of chronic disease, how it is treated by the pharmaceutical industry, what happens at the government level with lobbyists and the FDA and hearings and all this. So I would really implore you to watch a documentary called Fed Up because it doesn't contain a bunch of Joe Schmoes. You have some of the foremost experts in pediatric care, as well as other amazing physicians from Harvard and Yale. You've got former U.S. senators, the for, one of the former U.S. Uh, US FDA commissioners on there. And these people tell a very different story than the public sees. So basically they break down and tell you that since the 1980s and the obesity and diabetic epidemic that has happened is the leading cause of all chronic illness. And that's not my opinion. This comes right from the documentary and the physicians that explain this. But what they will tell you is that for years they have known the root cause of cancer, diabetes, heart disease, um, autoimmune conditions, all of these things that are of serious diagnosed nature result back to sugar. And then they'll explain to you that the, the, the coming of your or the shortcoming of your health issues is not your fault because we live in a world or we live in a country where we are programmed to eat food on a continuous basis. And these companies and these corporations get away with putting tremendous amounts of sugar into products, which make them more addictive because you might be impressed to know, or maybe depressed to know, that sugar is the most addictive substance on the planet. Sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine and heroin, and that is a proven fact. So what happens is in the grocery store, you might go there and see two, three, four, five thousand different products. But all of those products, although they have different brand names, are really owned by about three or four companies. So they break down in this video how you may have an organic company doing really good ethical services, but they're starting to now infringe on the profits of one of these bigger companies and how these bigger companies buy them just for the name and then put poor quality ingredients. So I would say that if you're looking to start your journey into understanding health and you, you know the economy of what goes on with food and big agriculture to big pharma. Fed Up is an amazing, amazing documentary that will exploit tremendous amount of truths, but be at the appropriate, if you would, PG level, where it's not too intense, it's not too um, gory or any of that. It just gets to the facts of these physicians telling you, we know what causes chronic disease, we know it is sugar. We know what has happened to the American public since the 1980s when sugar became into everything because fat was demonized. If you can talk to your grandparents or your great grandparents, they could very well tell you that, you know, they used to cook with lard and bacon grease and fat was a prominent macronutrient until about 1980. And then the sugar industry bought and paid scientists to demonize fat. And then everything became fat free and sugar everything. And these ethical physicians and senators and former uh, FDA commissioner will tell you how we have been hijacked by big business in the last 35, 40 years. Fed Up is a great documentary and I strongly suggest that you check that out.